everybody, welcome back to another Garden Wise Adventures, and we're back again with Lindy Mott. But this time we wanted to focus on one particular plant that she's growing that a lot of people talk about growing, and I haven't seen too many people do well. But Lindy does it beautifully, just like she does everything else, and that's her figs. Yay, figs! Yay! So before we look at your figs here, um, tell us a little bit about how you got started with the figs and what you've done to help them thrive. Oh, you bet. You know, these uh, were both gifts. Uh, aren't we grateful when we uh, yes. have gardening friends that give us their uh, their extra extra plants? Uh, so both of these are from two different friends, uh, and I didn't know if it would work. Uh, you, you know, figs are yes. hit and miss, and, uh, but I thought I'll give them the best chance possible uh, by putting them on the uh, uh, kind of southeast side of my house in a protected area. Uh, I'll give them as, as good a chance as possible. Uh, and uh, they die down to the ground uh, every year, okay. uh, but uh, but they, they tend to come back. Okay, well, let's so, turn around and look yeah. at your figs. We are with your fig. They are big. Boy, they, they're so impressive how, how they come back so, uh, uh, so robustly every year. And you can see why Adam and Eve used fig leaves for yes, they're modesty. huge. <laughs> <laughs> big leaves. But uh, we do, uh, every year uh, at, at winter, we do mulch uh, quite a bit, uh, maybe even a foot of hay. Of hay, uh, okay. Yeah, that will just pack around the, uh, you can see the... Yeah, let's see if we can get down inside. So these are yeah. actually planted in the ground. They are in the ground, but you can see the, the trunks there. So yeah. we'll, we'll prune back to those trunks uh, and then pack the hay all up and around it. And then all of this growth comes back in one year. Wow, isn't that something? Is gorgeous. Look at those leaves. Mm. Genuinely impressive. Now this, the leaves on this fig look yeah. a little different than the ones than these. on this fig. So yeah. it looks like it's a different variety, but you said you're not quite sure which ones they are. Yeah, I admit I'm not. Uh, I think one is a Turkish fig, uh, but I'm not sure on the other. And uh, uh, there are uh, two little uh, developing uh, figs right down here if you yeah. would like to get a, an idea of what they, what they look like there. So you actually get fruit on these? Yeah, they don't develop until uh, I think at least October. But once they start coming on, they, uh, they, they really come on. And boy, are they just delicious. I come out Oh, there so you're able to them. harvest them and eat them. They ripen and everything. They ripen and everything. Uh, yeah. Now, not all of them will. There'll always be, you know, some attrition, uh, you know, yeah. that, that won't ripen in time. But I admit, some days I, they're so delicious. I just come out here and I'm kind of ravished, you know. Yes. Like, ah, where, I used to grow figs, figs in California and I'd say maybe 10% <laughs> made it back in the house. Oh, it's <laughs> My kids are lucky to get that. Yeah, figs are so good. So what, what do you do to take care of them? Do you fertilize them? How often do you water them? Uh, I do water them quite heavily. I admit I'll put a soaker hose uh, on them at, uh -huh. least, uh, at least once a week, uh, maybe a bit more if, uh, if it's yeah. awfully dry. Uh, but other than that, uh, the general fertilizer that I use for the rest of the garden, uh, they haven't had, at least uh, in my experience, any more uh, needs than that. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, so I've been impressed with that. Might have to do with where they are. Uh, it's yeah. interesting, there's microclimates, uh, are, aren't there? Uh, yeah. You know, and, and other considerations, maybe because they're so close to the garden, they get some of the, you know, residual fertilizer that I just put in everything. Right. Uh, now, know. do you throw compost down over the top of them? I do. Uh, I do okay. that, yeah, at the beginning of the year. And I'll throw a, a granular fertilizer, blood meal, bone meal, uh, uh, you know, okay. that kind of thing at the beginning of the season. Uh, but other than that, I do a few, maybe a few kind of uh, manure tea foliar sprays. Oh, kind of okay. Thing. That's uh, good yeah. to know. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, other than that, they, they haven't shown to be awfully high maintenance, at least in my yeah. situation. Yeah. No, how, um, how much sun do they get back here? Uh, plenty. Uh, they, you can imagine the sun so rises this is south in the east. south east, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is kind of south and, and east here. So the sun rises over the mountains, and they get it from morning until it, it just about goes down here. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, plenty. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing your you figs. Bet. I think they are, I mean, I have not seen figs this robust and healthy. Yay. So these are great, <laughs> and you're actually getting crops. <laughs> Actual <laughs> croppage. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you again, and everybody, let's say thank you to Lindy, and go visit her page, you know, her Facebook page. She does beautiful, beautiful artwork. You're going to love to see that. And go have a wonderful garden-wise adventure. Mm -hmm.